This is Google Sheets Tips, Episode 2, and I've got five more tips to help you be more productive at Google Sheets. Tip number one this week, we'll look at how to have more than one line of text in a cell. Here's my example cell, and you can see that it has three lines of text, and it's really easy to do that in a cell. I'll find a cell right here, and I'll start typing, so words. And then this is where I hit control enter and that'll put me on the next line. Some more words, control enter again, and that'll move me to another line. So you can keep this up indefinitely. Once I hit enter, you can see that I have a cell with more than one line of words in it. When you create a multiple line cell, the height of that row is going to grow to accommodate the height of that cell. For tip number two, we'll look at how to clear formatting from a range of cells. Let's say I want to instantly remove all the formatting from this table. First, I have to select the range that I want to clear the formatting from. So I'm going to select everything in this table. If I want to clear the formatting from the menu, I'll come up to Format, and then at the very bottom, you can see there's the option to clear formatting. But I love keyboard shortcuts, so you can see right here, the keyboard shortcut to clear formatting is Control Backslash. So I'm going to get out of this menu. I'll come back, make that selection again, and I'll use my keyboard shortcut Control Backslash and you can see all the formatting for this table has disappeared. The third tip of the week is an introduction to the Google Finance formula. I've created a table to track the price, the 52 week high and the 52 week low of five different stocks. Let's take a look at an overview of the Google Finance formula. The first parameter for this formula is going to be the symbol and this can be a direct ticker symbol or actually a reference to a cell that contains the ticker symbol. The second parameter we're going to use is the attribute. There are a bunch of different attributes you can use, but for this example, we're gonna look at price and the high 52 and low 52. I'll put a link to the help document for Google Finance in the notes so you can look at anything that you wanna do with this. So in the price box here, I'll click in there and I'll hit the equal sign and then I'll start typing Google Finance and it's already showing up in the help there. So I'll hit enter to choose Google Finance. Now I wanna reference the Apple symbol in C2. So I'll type C2 here. There you could also type in a symbol directly. And I want the price, so I'll type price and hit enter, and now I have the price, uh, the current price of Apple. So I can click on that cell, and I'll use the handle to drag that down to copy it to the other ones, and now I have the price for all the stocks that I have there. Now I can do the same thing for the 52 week high and 52 week low. Since it copied everything down, I just need to fix the border once again. And there we go. We now have our table and I can change this to currency. And now we have our stock table. Tip number four is a quick one. I have a bunch of named ranges for this table. Ranges for price, symbols, you know, the 52 week high, 52 week low. If I click on a named range, it will actually highlight that in the table. So if I click on price, you can see it in the table there. And if I move down to symbols, you can actually, it's almost pre-showing what, it what it is over there. So if I click on symbols, it'll show that over there, the week high and the week low. And if I click off and if I hover over each range, you can see it just does a highlight there as well. For the fifth tip this week, we'll look at giving yourself a little bit more room to work. 
If I come up to the top right of the screen, you'll see a carrot. And if I click on that, it's going to hide all the menus. And if I click it again, it'll bring the menus back. If I want even more room to work, click on the view menu and come all the way down to full screen. And now that's gonna put everything out of the way and you can concentrate on filling in those cells. To be notified when I release the next tip video, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.